Hey gang, Sparky, how you guys doing today? want to talk about uh, some of the common power sources, some of the uh, wiring diagrams that I'm going to be doing here in the future. It's going to help you to know what your uh, uh, power supplies are from your utility companies. So let's go ahead and take a look at uh, quite a few of them here. We have our 120 single phase, 120 240 single phase, 120 208 three phase, 277, 480, three phase, 120, 240, three phase. Now in the field, as an installer, the term 277 is referred to as high voltage and generally 120, 240, 208 is low voltage. That's generally speaking. Uh, 48s and below are also referred to as low voltage, but uh, Generally, when you're out on a job, you just want to uh, check and see if you've got the 277, 480, plus 12208. Um, you really kind of need to check with uh, with everything that's going on, and just get on the same page with everybody when you say, "Hey, that light needs low voltage." You know, is it uh, 12 volt or is it 120 volt? But at least uh, in my neck of the woods, that's how we uh, kind of take a look at it. So let's look at some of these power supplies. In this one here, we've got the 120 volt two wire single phase. So from your hot to your neutral, you're going to get 120. From your hot to your ground, you're going to get 120. And neutral to ground, obviously, you're not going to get anything. We can jump on over here. This is more common in your homes. 120, 240 is three wire. Three wire being one phase, two phase, and a neutral. We have A to B is going to be 240, so hot to hot 240. A to neutral 120, and B to neutral 120, and then the same A and B to ground being 120. So you'll get your 240 between your A and B phases, uh, also commonly two phases of what you've got your incoming power. This one is pretty common in commercial light industrial applications. And you've got the 120 to 8 volt three phase four wire. It'd be the A, B, C, and a neutral. That's the fourth wire. We'll get your 208 volt between A and B, A and C, and the list goes down. I'll, I won't read them all to you, but as far as the arrows and the jumpers through them, you'll see that. I'm going from B to the neutral there and that's what's given me my 120 and then from A to C I'm getting my 208. Now we'll take a look at some a uh, little bit more commercial industrial applications. It's not to say that your strip malls are not going to have this because I've been working in quite a few of them recently that do and we have to use transformers. Anyway, this one is 277, 480, so between the phases, A to B, B to C, um, you're going to get 480 volts from each one of the phases, A, B, C to neutral, you'll get 277 volt, and then each one of the phases to ground, you'll get um, 277 volt. So between the phases is 480, phase to neutral, phase to ground is 277. We have this one here, which is the high leg, and this one, in the areas that I've been in, um, I've gotten 190 to 195, doing a little bit of research on the internet, I'm seeing a lot of people are coming up with, you know, plus or minus 200 volts, um, I think a lot of that has to do with what's coming off the transformer. So between the A to B phase, which is NEC regulated as, uh, you should tape it as orange being the high leg. Between the A to B, you're going to get your, your 240. Between A to C, you'll get your 240. And then from, um, from the B leg to neutral or to ground is where you're going to get this down here, your plus or minus 200. And like I said, I've I've run into a lot of his lot of 190. So this is just a little uh, quick rundown on power supplies and um, the one of the upcoming videos here will 
get a little bit further into the low voltage. But thanks for watching, and uh, if you got any questions, as always, um, post them down below. Visit the website, and uh, have a great day. Thanks for watching.